Stereotyping and generalizing are different. One is negative and harmful, and one is positive and helpful. An example of stereotyping would be to say that all Korean people like kimchi. It's inaccurate. An example of generalizing would be to say that many or most Korean people tend to like kimchi. It may be inaccurate, but it is not as inaccurate as stereotyping. Generalizing can be helpful. If I go to Japan and I read up on the culture and I behave in certain ways to make people comfortable, I may be wrong in certain cases, but I'll probably be right in most. If I'm invited into someone's home and I proceed to take off my shoes, I will probably be given points for having a sense of social or cultural consideration. In the rare case that the particular friend doesn't require that I take off my shoes, he or she can inform me. That's a case of getting acquainted with the local culture and behaving according to what the general conception is. That can be good. An example of stereotyping that could be harmful would be if I were to say that most Korean parents uh, will not allow me to date their children or all Korean parents will interfere in my relationship if I date a Korean woman. Now, the fact happens to be that many people feel that the stereotype that I just mentioned is actually true in a generalization. Being a Confucian country, one of the most conservative, if not the most conservative Confucian countries on earth, out of the Asian countries, it is a generalized idea that when you date a Korean woman, or maybe even a man, you should be aware of the fact that the parents do have, in many cases, an enormous influence over the dating and marriage choices of their children. And so one might be wise to be prepared for that. That's not racism, especially since the Koreans aren't a race, and there is no race on earth besides the human one. And that's not a stereotype. That's a helpful generalization based on the experiences of many people, including this one. I'm talking about this today because I know that people are sensitive to stereotypes. And because I made a comment on a friend's site when she made comments about a situation in Iran. And I commented by saying, with all due respect, your culture or the culture that you come from is only different by so many degrees. And she was very offended. But it's true. You will find much more parental interference in relationships in Korea and Iran and in India, as a matter of fact, and perhaps in China, even in Japan, than you will in America, though you may find it here too. Once again, it would be a stereotype to say that her culture is exactly the same as the Iranian culture, or to say that all Korean parents meddle in the affairs of their children. But it's only a generalization to say that perhaps most or many do. Generalizations are often helpful. We can say brown bears behave like this and black bears behave like that and so we should generally be prepared to behave accordingly around either variety of animal. And we could also make a contrast by saying that most bears behave very differently from wild cats and we would have to approach the animals in the latter differently than we would approach the animals in the former group. These are not stereotypical comments. They are generalizations that are helpful. So to recap, generalizations help us to navigate differences that are general from the ways that we're used to or the environments that we're used to. And stereotypes are ways of putting a whole group of people or animals or things into a group uh, as behaving exactly the same way. I hope I cleared things up. <laughs> Thanks.